Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin. And today I'm going to be doing a short review of a piece of software. Um, it's made by a company called Cyberlink and it's called PowerDirector. Uh, Cyberlink actually gave us a copy of this to review. So it is a sponsored review. So I want to say that up front, but it's actually a really, really good piece of software. Uh, up until now, Chris and I have been doing this um, digital power trip channel and Chris has been doing all the video editing. So I thought maybe I can take some of the load off of Chris and do some of the editing, but I have a Windows computer. As you guys know, I'm a Windows guy and Chris is a Mac guy. So he uses Final Cut Pro 10. I'm not buying a Mac, not just because it's expensive, but because I don't personally like the ecosystem. So I needed something that I could edit video on my computer so I could help Chris do some of this video editing and stuff. So me recording this intro is going to actually be a short review of what I think of PowerDirector and some of the stuff that it has that I said I need that out of uh, editing software in order for me to use it for uh, my daily editing tools to bring you guys content. So through the course of this, I'm going to show you guys what I use out of PowerDirector that, I, that we couldn't live without. So after this, I'm going to go ahead and cut and show you guys how it works. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is open PowerDirector. Uh, I'm just searching it down out of my start menu. Then we're going to do the full feature video editor. So once this is loaded, we're going to import a media folder because I have all of my media in one folder. Uh, the keyboard shortcut for that is Control W. So I'm going to go to my desktop and select the folder that it's in, which I named PowerDirector. So now that my media is imported, I'm going to select my first video track and I'm going to drag it down into the one, which is the first layer of video. So now that it's there, I am kind of looking to see where I need to do my first cut. Uh, when me and Chris edit, we always do a hand clap. That way we can, you know, kind of have a point that we know that that's where we need to do to cut out all the stuff from once we hit the record button. So that's what I'm working on doing now. I'm using the um, timeline scrubber head there to record what's going on or excuse me to move around where I'm at so now I'm gonna go up to edit and I'm gonna go down to split at current time and once I do that I'm gonna delete the first part so now I should have just the part that I want Sorry, click something on accident there. So now I'm working out trimming the first part of the other clip. I'm going to do the same thing, trim at current time. I'm going to delete the portion I don't need, and then I'm going to use the uh, fill gap. And so delete and fill gap, and that brought me back to my playhead. So now that I have that done, I'm going to select all my clips and then click sync by audio. And what that does is it lines my clips up based on the audio from both of the uh, audio inputs. So you need to have audio coming from both your camera sources. Now that I have that done, I am unlinking the video and the audio. So what I'm doing is I'm making the audio and video two separate entities so I can delete the one that I'm not using. So what I did is I deleted the audio from the camera that did not have the lav mic plugged into it. And so now I have my two cameras synced up by audio and I deleted the crappy version of the audio. So pretty much what I can do now is now that I have these two cameras set up like that, I can go through and I can make cuts and the cuts will be seamless right off the bat because Cyberlink already went through and hooked it up for us. So that's what I'm doing now. Same thing as I did before. I'm going to make cuts by either clicking uh, control T, which is the sheet, the key, <clears throat> excuse me, the keyboard shortcut, or I'm going to go to edit and uh, split at current time. And then I'm just going to delete portions of either video. So you can do it back and forth however you want to, just whatever you think makes it look good. This is ultimately up to you and what your viewers like to see. But that is definitely one of the 
biggest things about power director that drew me to it is we always use more than one camera no matter what we do just because i think it looks nice to cut back and forth between two different uh cameras it gives it a more cinematic look and your production just looks better uh so like i said that's the main reason that i found i found power director because i saw that you could sync the clip by audio and it makes the edit so much easier to use but overall not even just that power director is just a really nice powerful piece of software and it's priced really nice uh, Chris, how much did you pay for Final Cut Pro 10? $300. $300. So you can buy this version of PowerDirector, and I'll annotate it if I'm wrong, but I think it's about 80 bucks when it's on sale. So you're talking about a piece of software that is almost as powerful as Final Cut 10 for 80 bucks, and this will work on my Windows machine. So check out PowerDirector. It's really cool. I'm going to go ahead and hit one more cut, and I'm going to come back to you guys. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys like PowerDirector, I'm going to put a link in the video description to our affiliate link. So if you guys are interested in buying it, use that so you can support the channel and keep us pumping out good content for you guys. So until next time, we appreciate you guys coming and checking this out, and we'll see you then.